Have you ever found yourself deep in the creative flow, crafting a story that's bold, unapologetic, maybe even a little risque, only to hit a wall because your AI writing assistant is a prude? You're crafting a masterpiece, but the tool keeps saying, that's not allowed. Frustrating, right? Well, you're not alone in this. One of your fellow viewers reached out to me with this exact problem, and it got me thinking. This is something we need to tackle. So today, instead of doing the flash fiction adventure I had planned, we're diving into a much requested topic. How do you set up Novel Crafter to handle not safe for work narratives? It's time to unlock the full potential of your AI writing tool and give your creative freedom the space it deserves. Let's get started. Welcome to Bite Size Booksmith, where technology empowers creativity. I'm Angie, and on this channel, we explore how emerging technologies and AI can enhance our craft and lives as writers. Now, let's dive a bit deeper. When we talk about writing, especially genres that push boundaries or explore complex themes, we're often walking a tightrope. On one side, there's the raw, unfiltered expression of our ideas, that kind that might make some of the AI tools blush. And on the other side, there's the often frustrating reality of content moderation and restrictions. This isn't just about being edgy for the sake of it, it's about authenticity in storytelling. Whether it's a steamy romance, a gritty crime thriller, or a dark fantasy tale, these stories deserve to be told without being sanitized by an overcautious AI. It's not just about the not safe for work elements, it's about the freedom to explore the full spectrum of human experience and emotion in our writing. And that's where Novel Crafter and Open Router come in, offering us a way to navigate this creative landscape without limitations. Today, we're not just setting up a tool, we're setting the stage for stories that are as limitless as our imaginations. Let's get into the nuts and bolts of how to do this. Hey folks, welcome to OpenRouter.ai. If we come over here, you can see that I am currently logged in, but I'm gonna come over here and show you, let's click on browse and we can look at the different models that are available. The ones from OpenAI and the ones from Anthropic, those are gonna be filtered models. So those are gonna be the ones that have the content moderation. The other ones are the ones that we are talking about those are the ones that are unfiltered and let's see here we can look at top weekly so mythomax mistral capybara there's all kinds of different llms that are available here that we can use inside of our novel crafter okay so while we are here i want to come over here and show you if you come over to keys this is my novel crafter key you can see part of it but if you hit create key, you're gonna need that when you go into Novel Crafter to set up the ability to have these other LLMs so you can use them. So let's move over there and I will show you where we go to do that. Okay, now we are in my Novel Crafter account. And if we come over here, you click on your name, come over here to open settings. This is where you're gonna be able to uh, set up your open router and your open AI keys. And then there's also a large number of other vendors that are available as well. But these are the two that I have installed. You come over here and hit connect and it'll walk you through the steps uh, for you to be able to enter that um, API key and to be able to add it to your uh, novel crafter. So let's uh, go in and I will show you how to set this up. We're going to come over here to create novel. And I'm going to, this is going to be a test novel. And I will put it in no series. And I will go ahead and create novel. And where we go to set this up is we're going to come down here to prompts. Within prompts, it looks like I already set this up, which is awesome what you would need to do if you're starting from scratch is for beat completion we would need to come up here and clone this general purpose prompt okay so now we have a copy of it and we want to make it an sfw not safe for work so that means that these here so our open ai and our claude no longer can hang out in here Go ahead and delete the settings for these. Awesome. Okay, so let's go through here and check the temperatures. 
I like this one. And I'm going to set the temperature low, probably a point point four. Let's see. Hmm. And let's see. I don't see capybara. So if you want to add another model, if you come through here and you see that you're missing one, I'm going to actually change this name here. So this is my test NSFW. Remember, this is the type is for beat completion. So let's come here and add a new model. And the model that I want to add is. Hmm. Where is, here it is, Capybara 7B. Okay, and I'll just name it here, Capybara. And then I will set, here we go. We'll do 0. 0.6 and we'll do max tokens of 2048. Okay, so if you want to move Capybara up, so it's near the top, just put it up here. So there we go. So we've got our test NSFW, not safe for work, scene beat completion uh, prompt. And as you can see down here, I've also got one. I've got a erotica developmental editor that I created, and I've got a couple of different ones in here. You can use these while you're actually in chat. And you can start a conversation and use not safe for work uh, in place of using chat GPT or something like that. You know, come up here and hit select AI. And so there you go. You can pick whichever one you want. Okay. I am going to add just a couple things to this test novel so we can try to write and use one of these not safe for work models. So hold on one second and I will be right back. I went and created a really quick novel idea using, it was an age gap romance template from uh, Romance in the Digital Age from Miracold. And I actually did that in chat GPT just so it would be nice and quick. I have three characters and I also have, if you come over here to write, you can see I have some information about my scene, including the characters, the location. I probably could have added the location over there as well. The, the character's voice, some story tone. And I also have, let me see. I also have the beginning of the chapter. And let me tell you, it is super duper rough. Okay. Let me just put that in. Okay, so this is actually the first beat. There we go. Okay. So I want to come in here and I want to add a new scene beat. And let me go to the next beat. Okay, here we go. So we've got, determined to unravel this mystery, I headed to work early and planned to discreetly sift through Vincent's personal files. And then it, also a transition, my decision to sneak around, driven by a mix of fear and excitement, inevitably set me on the path that would entangle me deeper into Vincent's private world. This is 100% safe for work stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. If you come down here, we can either use the general prose, which you can see here that OpenAI and Claude, they're all, it shows moderated. So I use the word filtered, but here on Novel Crafter, it's shown as moderated. We want to use the not safe for work beat completion. We'll actually use the test one I just created. And let's come here to Cababera. And it's going to continue the story from where I was at with the next scene beat. Wow, and it actually wrote quite a bit. As we wrap up today's tutorial, let's quickly recap what we've covered. We've navigated the uncharted waters of setting up Novel Crafter to work with Open Router's unfiltered LLMs specifically for not safe for work content. We've also explored how to select the right LLM, integrate them with Novel Crafter, and customize the system prompts 
to unleash the full potential if today's deep dive into the world of unrestricted AI-assisted writing has opened up new possibilities for your stories, please hit that like button and subscribe to Bite Sized Booksmith. Your support is incredibly important and it enables us to continue merging cutting edge technology with our creative passions. I'm curious, how have you handled writing sensitive or bold content in your stories? Have you faced challenges with content restrictions and AI tools? What are your strategies? Or are there other tools or approaches that you rely on? Share your experiences and tips in the comments below. I can't wait to read your insights and learn from the diverse pro- approaches you all bring to the table. Thank you for joining me today. And remember to tune in next week as we return to our journey of using AI to craft compelling stories. Remember, the right tools and knowledge can transform your writing from being confined by limitations to truly capturing the essence of your creative vision. Keep pushing the boundaries, keep innovating, and I'll see you in our next adventure.